Hey up, welcome back. So today I've got this uh, Draper wood plane to take a look at. Uh, full disclosure, I've never owned a wood plane. I've never really used one before. So this is simply just giving you a look at it. My first time trying one out, you know, I'll dismantle it. I'll show you what the quality of it is like and obviously what you get in the box it was relatively cheap i can't remember how much off hand it was i'll leave a link in the description i did get it off amazon um so yeah let's uh, get it open right so this is what you get in the box you get the uh the plane itself looks fairly nice you know I, i've got no experience to compare it with any other plane but you know it's bit of weight to it does feel quite nice you do get a spare blade in the box as well so we'll just put that to one side um <clears throat> now I, like i said i've never owned or used one of these before so this is just simply giving you a look at what you actually get if you're wanting to purchase a cheap plane uh, I got this because I thought it'd be useful. I'm uh, renovating my house and, well, I, I gathered the time is right to invest in one. Um, I have no idea what any of these do. So I'm guessing this lines your blade up, you know, squares it up. This probably... I have no idea. Let's let's just start with taking it apart from what I can gather. So this just looks like a like a cheap cast steel with a nice finish on one side. Screw thread. I don't know whether they all have that or whether some have like a quick release mechanism yeah so how do we get the rest of it apart ah right so this is the rest of it there is a couple of wood chippings in here I did actually get just a quick test on a scrap bit of wood when I first got it just to see what it were like um, yeah so that's your simple mechanism I imagine that is to move your blade up and down feels relatively good it is just all like cast you know there's a few imperfections in the in the surfaces but they're not too bad i mean for for the money this i can't remember offhand but it were about 25 quid or something like that um so you're not expecting like perfect precision uh machine work you know for somewhere at 25 quid but yeah so this is the uh, the blade that was installed in it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll just stick it back together now. Because you want to see what it works like. We'll set up um, on a bit of scrap wood and we'll just see what uh, what it performs like. I'll try and get the blade as square as I can and uh, yeah we'll get a quick test right so I've got just a bit of scrap wood set up um, I've set it as square as I can by eye and there's very little sticking out of it so let's just uh, give it a go oh the table's moving just a minute I'll try that again Tables it in camera stand. Right. Well, there we go. So 
to be getting angry at it a bit now. It's a bit, a bit dull, I think. If possibly do a sharpening the blade up. As you can see, I need a lot of practice for this. Yeah, I think I need to, uh, it is clogging up a little bit. Don't know whether I've got the blade too far out or what. I shall try altering the blade a little bit. All right, try that again. Yeah, that's uh, definitely working a bit better now. I've, I've raised the blade a touch. Yeah. Well, like I said, I need a lot of practice. Uh, that is my first time actually properly using one. It's a bit weird. bit more fine tuning but it's it's not doing too bad it's a bit rough on this section there's a bit of a knot there um can't actually seem to get it started it i think yeah, it's going to take a hell of a lot of practice for me to be able to get anything, you know, perfectly flat with that. Um, but, I mean, it, it's doing what it's intended to do. It's taking material off. Getting the feel of it a bit now. Right, so there we go. This is the uh, the finish that it left. It is a little bit rough in places. Um, that could be due to inexperience on my part. Um, did start getting a feel for it. Um, I think a little bit more fine tuning. Possibly might still have the blade little bit far down i did find it's a little bit fiddly to adjust uh, i don't know whether that is just me again inexperience or whether they're all a little bit fiddly to drags sorry the dog is whining is uh sat outside of me there look hey what's up <laughs> <laughs> right, just had to kick dog out. He won't shut up whining. Um, yeah, so like I say, a bit of inexperience on my part, but I just wanted to show you, you know, if you're actually looking at buying one of these, just thought I'd give you an up close look at it and what the quality of it is like. I'll just uh, get a straight edge. Right. So I just want to see just how straight this base plate is. It does look le uh, quite square. 
Uh, right, it's I've just had a look up at the light and you can actually see a bit of daylight coming through the middle so it's not perfectly flat. Uh, there is a slight bow in it but it is ever so slight. Um, I think if you are very particular with it you could take the blade out and you could level that up on a solid paper you know a bit of sandpaper on a nice flat surface shouldn't take too much effort to do that um, but yeah there we go I think for the price it's not too bad you'll have to let me know if you've had experience with wood planes what am I doing wrong you know any tips that will help me get the best use out of it um, would be very grateful so yeah there we go right so that is it that's a quick look at the uh, Draper Expert it's 250 millimeter smoothing plane like I said, this is just to show you the quality of it. I just wanted to give you a quick look round. I am no expert. Like I said, I've never owned one. I've never used, that is like my second time actually using it. I get it a quick go when I first got it, but that is pretty much my second time ever using a wood plane. Um, I am inexperienced with this. So I just wanted to show you a breakdown of it and you know the quality uh, could be better but for the price I think it's a good starter um, it'll do what I need it to do um, just need more practice using it and I'll probably do a bit of research on how to set it up properly might even try sharpening blade a little bit but yeah hope you found this helpful um, if you did, consider subscribing and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.